YouTube, hey, uh, how you doing, man? You doing good? Hey, I'm doing good myself. But look, as you can see right here, we got Lama Arts, Lama Arts. How you say their name? I don't know. But look, I know they be coming with bangers. They be coming with bangers. And I saw this on my feed, and I'm like, hey, click, watch later. Let me just watch it with my guys. So look, hey, before we get to that, man, I want you to subscribe. Just the sub up, the noties, all that good stuff, bro. I got to feed my son, man. I haven't been able to afford, you know, giving him baby formula, so he be, he been quenching his thirst for three, two weeks. Don't ask me if he's alive. Yeah. Nah, I'm playing. But look, hey, let's just say to it, I don't have a son. I'm trolling. Don't don't call the police on me, man. Hey, relax. But look, let's just say to it, man. Lama Arts. Photographer. I took a trip last year with my wife to the Colorado mountains for an art project. Okay. My wife is also an avid skier, so she talked me into adding skiing into the trip. We had the option to book a room at a ski resort or rent out a private log cabin. The second one seemed more romantic, so I picked that one. Okay. Plus, it didn't hurt that it was cheaper. The cabin was nothing luxurious or anything. It was a single floor, four yeah, room four little thing. A two person bedroom, a small living room, a kitchen, and a bathroom. It may have been small, but the actual idea of being secluded in a warm log cabin during a blizzard was amazing. Yeah, facts. However, the storm was interfering with the cable signal, so we didn't have much to do this one particular evening. It was just starting to get dark out at this point, but there was still a decent amount of light outside, so I thought it would be perfect for getting a few shots and videos in the blizzard for backgrounds and wallpapers. Okay. I told my wife I'd be back within 10 minutes and slipped on my boots and coat. Uh, the moment wait, I stepped wait, wait. outside it's a, wait, wait. And it's a blizzard I don't think that's really the greatest idea if I say so myself at the door I noticed footsteps leading up to the door in the snow that had blown under the wooden awning I could see the prints doubled as uh, whoever left them there turned and went the opposite direction I was freaked the fuck out two steps grab the shotgun hey you might gotta get busy my boy but I wasn't about to go inside and scare my wife I decided to give in to my curiosity and followed the prince to the right side of the cabin. Yeah, do that. Right away, I noticed that they led to the bedroom window. Oh, snap. My heart froze in fear when I saw this. I could see my wife sitting on the bed using okay. her iPad. She noticed me and I waved. She left. I continued to follow the footprints around the cabin to the other side. Okay. They led to the living room window on the other side. Oh. Someone was stalking us. But how long ago was the question? Hey, forget all that. I found Grab myself the standing there for a good minute asking myself if I should follow the footprints anymore. Hey, see, he different than me. First, I would have farted. I'm keeping, I'm, I'm being honest. I would have tooted a little bit. I'd be, I'd be scared. I'd be scared. I'm not going to cap. But look, hey, you got to grab any, any weapon. You got to rub your body. You got a knife. You got a gun. You got to, if you got to pray, pray, honestly. But bro, I would have been home. I don't care if it's blizzard or not. I don't play that, bro. For whatever reason, yeah, no. I decided I would. They were now leading away from the cabin. I knew I was following the prince to where this person was going, not coming from, simply by the boot marks. I followed the prince away from the opening and into the trees. Okay. That was where I saw him. What? A man wearing a black coat facing a tree, slouched oh. down looking at the ground. Oh, if he's that bold. If you having that stance during a blizzard, and you don't care about my life, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm running. He was I'm still screaming. as a statue, and I could see the snow piling up on his hood and shoulders. Oh snap. I froze in my tracks, trying not to make a sound. I would have thought to ask him if he needed help otherwise, but this uh, guy was just standing there, not doing anything like- Yeah, leave him. Hey, I'll, hey. I'm sorry. You gotta kind put of me first. I gotta put myself freak. first. I'm scared. I started to gradually move backwards without even turning around, making sure this man didn't turn around or notice me. When I got out of visual distance, uh -huh. I turned around and stomped through the snow back to the cabin. Yeah, you better hurry when up. When I slammed the door shut, my wife came over to see what was wrong. I saw worry in her eyes. I guess she saw the worry in mine. She knew I saw something, and after a few minutes of harassment, I finally told her what I saw. Uh -huh. She immediately started packing her things, telling me we're leaving right away. I told her no, we're not going anywhere. Why? I would not get a refund for leaving early, and I wasn't about to up- Bro, ain't nobody care about none of that! You got a, you got a killer on the loose. 
that could threaten your wife's life, your life, your life. Bro, I would have went. I'm sorry. I believe just because some hey. weird guy was walking around outside. I, I she made a point of locking both locks on the door and making sure all of the windows were sealed shut. For the rest of the night, we read stuff on our iPads. I reviewed the pictures and videos I had taken so far. We turned out the lights early as there wasn't much else to do. What if he's still out there? I remember my wife asking me. There's no way he's still out there, I then assured her. Listening to the wind blowing outside, along with the small flakes of snow hitting the windows, was strangely relaxing, and I knew I'd be able to fall asleep quickly. Except, if it wasn't for... What? Oh yeah, nah. <laughs> I would've had a little turd down my leg. I'm not The knock at the bedroom window. Yeah. We were both still awake. Grab and the we gun. both knew it was a knock from a person. I ushered my wife out of bed and out into the living room without turning on any lights. There was nothing to use as a weapon whatsoever. Our only option was to run before something might happen. You better start praying. I told my wife we'd have to forget our luggage and make a dash for the jeep. We slipped on our boots and coats in the dark in a matter of seconds, and when we heard a knock at the living room window from the opposite side of our car, we took that opportunity to run. Get out of there, get out that I pressed jail. the unlock button, so grateful I chose to have remote locks on my Wrangler, and we hopped in. The car started with ease, and as soon as the headlights flashed on, the man was standing facing the log cabin on our side now. Gotcha! just facing the wall of the cabin Bro, in the same position right I had seen him in earlier, as if he were hiding his face. We drove to the nearby ski resort without much trouble in the jeep. We stayed there for the night and went back the next day to the log cabin to collect our things we left behind. He wasn't there. Okay. W. Oh, he's coming. W story. Great first story. I like that. I like that. I'm 27 years old. I live alone in a rural town in Virginia, about two blocks away from my parents. Okay. My parents are both in their 60s, and my mom has become a very worrisome woman in her old age. All right. Sometimes she walks over uninvited and lets herself in, since I had regrettably given her a key, which can get a bit annoying. Like, if I would be out really late on weekends at a bar or with women, I would sometimes yeah. come home to my mom sitting in the living room waiting, worried sick. Oh. I know you may just think, oh my god, that's crazy, why not just put your foot down and tell her to stop? Not well, sure. because you don't know my mom. It's very hard to describe her, but she's the kind of worrisome, innocent little lady that you just can't bring yourself to go against. And I hate to mention, she also has mild dementia. Oh. Anyway, yeah. this was Saturday night. I think it was around 2 in the morning. I, like I was at a nearby it's... club with a group of college friends, really the only place to hang out in this boring town, and I was getting ready to head home. I said goodbye to all my friends and walked the three blocks it took to get back to my house. Oh, he had a walk back I walked up my front stoop in my drunken haze and dug my hands in my pocket for my keys. When I grabbed the doorknob, I realized it was unlocked. My mom was here again. I quietly opened and shut the front door, locking it behind me. I put my keys on the kitchen counter and found a note written in my mom's handwriting saying, You forgot this at our house, next to the box of half-eaten cake my parents didn't want. I didn't see my mom anywhere, so I assumed she must have gone upstairs to sleep in the guest bed until I got back, which is something she would commonly do as well. Yeah, that makes Then sense. I heard footsteps upstairs, confirming it, and that's when I sighed once again. 27 years old, almost 3 in the morning, and she still has to wait up and treat me like a child. I ran upstairs to check the guest bed, empty, along with all the bathrooms. Oh. I was afraid mom was having one of her episodes due to her condition, so I ran to the phone to call my dad. After four rings, my dad picked up in a groggy voice, asking what the hell is the matter. After I told him that I heard mom wandering around upstairs in my house, there was a short pause, and then he said, that's not possible. She's sleeping right next to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I would have had a heart attack. My mouth fell open as I turned my head to face the dark upstairs. And just barely, by the light provided by the kitchen, I could see a head peering around from the corner at the top of the stairs, looking down. <laughs> 
I well, screamed into the phone as I ran yeah, out the front out door there. and down the street to my parents' house, explaining to Ain't my no father way. on the way. About halfway there, my dad told me, all right, I'm going to call the cops, and hung up. I made it to my jail. parents' house, where my mom was already waiting at the door, worried sick. My mom explained that she did come over to clean my kitchen a little bit and to bring over the cake they didn't want. Two police cars pulled up in front of my parents' house, where they escorted me and my dad down the street to my house. One officer stayed outside with us, while two others went inside to investigate. It felt like 15 minutes before they came back outside and said it was clear. They checked the crawl space, the attic, everything. There was really nothing for me to report other than the door was left unlocked and I saw the outline of a head upstairs before I ran for it. Still, I didn't feel safe sleeping in there that night, oh, yeah, so I went back my to my parents' house. Me and my dad are certain that my mom simply forgot to lock the door when she left, yes. as her memory has been getting worse over the past few months. My dad has been stopping her from coming over alone from now on, which makes me both sad but also relieved. Yeah, Some nights, I still get paranoid that whoever was in my house that night never left, and is still hiding in here somewhere. Literally. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a short story. I'm not gonna count. I like that though. It was a typical boring day in calculus, only- Yeah, they talk about school. Yeah, I think it's time to wrap this video up, but hey! This is a W. I'm, I mess with this. I mess with these two stories, man. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I like this. And this was six years ago. Ten mil. Okay. Motion. Okay. But hey, see y'all boys under man. Hey, recommend me some more stuff to react to, cause I like stuff like this, man. I like having a good time with y'all. You know, vibing. You know, reacting to stuff like these. And yeah, man. And in the future, I'm gonna be doing a lot of gaming. But right now, bro, unfortunately, bro, I have no money. Can't really buy the games that I want to play on this channel. But, hey, through progress, God going to get me right. He going to bless me. And, yeah, we going we gonna, to we gonna, we gonna get up there. But, hey, see y'all boys later, man. Y'all stay smooth. Uh, y'all stay in y'all word, man. Y'all stay prayed up. Yeah, man, hit that like. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Do all the great things. And, look, I love y'all. Y'all take it easy. I'm out, man.